housing. We're going to be talking about safe and sound housing this morning. Now, how are we going to have a home that's safe and sound? What am I looking for? Good. Well, oftentimes when we build or buy a house, we are so excited just about the location, the house, the comfort, etc. But true comfort comes when you feel secure. And sometimes a lot of people see this as an afterthought, but this should be one of the first things you should be thinking about when you have made your investment. Uh, so essentially, we want to ensure that when we are inside, because we know the world has gotten a little bit crazy these days, we don't need anybody rolling up on us when we're there or when we are not there. And plus, our prize valuable. We want to ensure that we have them for a very long time to come. So protecting our asset as, is as important as just having it alone. Okay. Now, in terms of being able to protect that, um, we usually have a front door, a side door, a back door. What are the points of entry we should be looking at? And how should we try to regulate or navigate our choices when we look at those various points of entry? Good. Well, sometimes people go a little bit overboard with their points of entry. Uh, remember that, yes, you don't only want access to outdoors, but you have to be thinking that people may be looking on considering how they can get in. So front door, yes. Uh, of course, you have that. Some person uh, who have chosen garage doors have the front door, the, the main access point to their, their kitchen or um, uh, inside of that garage area on purpose because the garage doors serve as another uh, safety barrier, so to speak. You have your front door. If it is glass, uh, of course, you don't just want to have that feature alone. You need something added on to it. Now, if you're like me, most Bajans like burglar bars or what we call in real estate terms, security enclosures. <laughs> so we don't traumatize you as much. <laughs> but those uh, security bars uh, serve a very good role when you are put your head in the mind of a burglar. When they're walking through a neighborhood, they have a very short time span to make a decision on which house they're going to hit. From the time they see Patsy Sue's house with all the raw iron, they're not stopping there. So visually alone, it serves as a deterrent. And also your back door, you want to make sure that that is secure as well, whether it's raw iron or bolts. Don't ever underestimate the power of some big, sturdy bolt. And I'm going to tell you this, don't just put one at the top. It's okay to put one at them as well. Remember those professional uh, burglars and robbers sometimes know how to get the doors off the hinges. So you want to delay them as long as possible or at least make them feel like this is not worth it. Okay, now we're talking about the bars, but what about a security system? What about an alarm? How big a deterrent is that for them? Uh, if you are dealing with the security system aspect, make sure you talk to a security firm who knows all the tricks that someone will try to take for your house and once they inspect your house too they will try to layer the the security um tools and techniques to used so they might have uh, an invisible fence you know a security system in the garden that can't be seen but when you cross it it sets off a noise for example along with points at the windows and doors so that if you breach them then a big alarm goes off and that if you're coming home once you enter the house you have to uh, key in your your PIN, your password, or whatever to get access. So if you're going that route, you make sure you layer the systems to, to have a more effective form of protection. What about the role of lighting in helping to keep me secure? Cannot underestimate that. Uh, perimeter lighting, uh, remember a lot of these guys tend to operate in the shroud of darkness. Um, when you hear that most homes are broken into, it's somewhere between midnight and 3 a.m. They light darkness. If they see a big able spotlight coming on when they move, they're leaving that location. If they see floodlights on already, they're not going there. They're trying to operate unseen. 
And therefore, it is essential to that you have, whether it's motion sensors, I like motion sensors because it cuts down on your electricity, comes on when somebody passes by. Nowadays, you have nice solar lighting too, so that the sun pays that utility bill. You can set up poles in your backyard with the solar feature, but always try to have your house well illuminated at night once again, as a deterrent, or if you do have cameras around, if somebody's on the property, is able to pick them up clearly. Okay. What about the traditional, the, the dog, my neighborhood watch, those types of things? How, how big a role can that play in helping me to keep safe or for me to keep myself safe? Listen, there's some neighborhood watches that do not play. <laughs> I was by my nail tech once, and she is part of a neighborhood watch. And all of a sudden, I see her looking down um, at her phone. Sally, at the entrance of the neighborhood, saw a man walking with a wee backer. We've never seen him up in here before. Does anyone know who he is? Does anyone have a... Listen, some neighborhood watches um, do a better job than law enforcement. They, they make sure that, you know, they keep one another in check if they see someone who looks suspicious <laughs> or who fits the description. So neighborhood watches are great. Also to those who are into guard dogs, um, yes, big deterrent for sure. Um, but make sure when you have those guard dogs, still put up your little sign saying dog. I remember one time rolling up at a property when I was eight months pregnant. There was no sign mark dog around. And all of a sudden, I saw two Doberman Pinchers running towards me. You can imagine, I almost immediately went into labor, right? I had to freeze <laughs> and pray that the owner would come out. And they were just there snarling. So even if you do have guard dogs, make sure you let the world know you have them because you don't want any disasters for the good people um, trying to get in, you know, get in mauled. And you just take common sense measures for the love of god you know do things that are safe don't 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 hang out in your patio at night and then get up to get your peppermint tea and leave the door open so in conjunction with all the safety measures that you have at your house you have to use good old common sense good old common sense but we're also into smart technology these are modern times yes. we have the ring we have all sorts of things and they're connected to our watches they're connected to our tablets they're connected to our phones is it serving as a major deterrent do we have enough time to act once we've seen that person lurking well remember i said that the beauty of security system is that is that you should layer them so there's some things that can make you act right away or that 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 trigger off an alarm right away that's great um but the beauty of smart technology is that you could be traveling to portugal wendy and you can pick up your phone, log in, and realize, uh, why is John Brown in my living room? And call the authorities, you know? Uh, even in terms of having, some people have cameras set up inside their home, uh, also for uh, protection. Remember, sometimes we have caregivers, too, that are not caregiving. So, okay. you know, in instances, in instances where you have persons looking after your elderly mother, um, the nanny taking care of the child. Sometimes you have to secure yourself against them too. So some persons have gone a step farther by having hidden cameras in the house. The beauty of smart technology is that as you're building new construction, you can get a, a technician to install, and you just mentioned it, certain types of doorbell, that from the time you ring that bell at the gate or the door, your face is caught on camera. Um, even if there's just motion in front of the door, it is recording you. Um, so smart technology plays a big role. Even there, there are instances, for example, you're not home, but you see some run around the property, you can hit some buttons and all of your lights come on. You know, so you're able to try to do something from a distance. So layer the different techniques and they will all work to your advantage.